Sean Barr. So I learned this Sean Barr more than 10 years ago. Um, Jimmy Pedro. Jimmy Pedro is a great player, great judo coach. So I, I learned this arm bar at this seminar, and I started I started using it right away. And uh, it's just really effective, awesome way to finish somebody. But there's some details that you've got to get right. If you don't do the details right, it's going to be hard to finish. If you do it right, it's going to be easier to finish. And for some reason, I find I see people in this position all the time. So if they understood how to do it, they would get a good finish. So we're going to actually start, you're going to be in the turtle bro. So you're on your knees here. So I'm here like this. I'm going to have you do this just, just for the technique, okay? So I got back control, and I'm going to attack this arm, I'll say, okay? So I'm going to have this leg across his body, and I'm going to scoop his arm up with my left arm. So I'm here like this, I want to attack this arm. I'm going to come here, and I'm going to drop my shin across the back of his head. So I'm going to be real careful that I don't need my training partner in the back of the head. I'm going to bring my shin and instep on the back of his head. I'm going to put my ear on the mat and look at his legs. Okay, if I don't do that, if I'm looking this way, it's going to be hard for me to turn him over. The only way I can kind of finish it is this way, I might get it to finish. But if I go the other way, it's going to be much more effective if I'm over here like this. So, I come through here, and I grab my thighs. So now his arm is really locked in good. Um, my shin goes here, I squeeze my thighs together so I got a good grip on his arm. So sometimes, right from here, I might be able to finish. Sometimes, right from here, I might be able to pull his arm out right here and just finish just like this. Super tight arm bar because his arm's kind of kind of spiraled tight here. It's twisted a little bit, so it's going to go on right away. But if he has his hands together, and I can't pull this arm out, then I'm gonna grab his pants here like this and drag it over my face. So I drag this up over my face and I turn him over. So this is baby because Now I'm gonna use gravity to finish this arm bar. You know, I don't have to just use the power of my hips. If I have this pant like this, this is good because it makes it hard for him to get up. If he tries to sit up, yeah, I, tries to, yeah, I can keep him on the ground. If I didn't have that, maybe he can pull that out. Yeah, I start to come up. And now I don't have gravity to finish. But if I have this, I'm in a good position to finish. And come over his head, and then just tack his hands, and I get my finish. One more. So I get back control. I want a quick finish. I don't want to take too much time. I come. Looks like this. Squeeze everything together. Grab his pants. I don't try to pull him over like this. Because I would drive his head into the ground. I couldn't do it. I drag his leg over my head like this. So he can't stop me from turning him over. I collect his head. I come up, attack his hands, and I got my finish. Okay, let's try this thing.